is obviously delighted to be involved in this and um, we're delighted to give some young footballers the opportunity or to be a part of giving some young, young footballers the opportunity to get involved and to get coached by the likes of John and um, to develop into the players that they can become hopefully in the future. It's exciting for us and we're very confident that this year's um, Digicel Football Clinic um, will even be bigger and better than last year and um, we're delighted to be to be continuously involved in this. So um, without further ado I'm going to pass you over to Minister Jones who's also going to say a few words. Thank you very much uh, colleagues. It is not normal that I sit among um, so much red but on this occasion, of course, I am extremely happy to be among um, those gentlemen who are dressed in red. The Barbers Football Association, and of course, the um, Caribbean Football Union um, have been involved with these Jujicel in football development in within the Caribbean region um, with the presence of Digicel One has seen a tremendous growth not only at the level of persons both male and female um, playing the game but in the general management organization and of course the high level of, of, com of competition um, within the region. Barbados has not always been fortunate to make it to the final end but of course, we're always happy and pleased to see those who have never made it before um, to any CONCACAF competition um, make it this year. Um, last well, last year, this year, Grenada, um, country that we have very good football relationships with, um, has in fact made it, and we're proud of them. But all of that has come about because of the involvement of Digicel um, in football within the region. The presence of John Barnes um, in, in Barbados again. In 2008, um, January, I believe, 2008, uh, interesting coincidence, of course, at that time. Um, all of us victorious in, in the month of January. <laughs> <laughs> um, John Barnes was here working with our um, young footballers, our young people. We were not fortunate at the time to have one to go off to England, I believe, to Sunderland, Sunderland. Um, to be part of those picked from within the Caribbean. But we look forward to his presence here again this year, all compliments of the uh, Digicel and the um, Caribbean Football Union. I know last year those youngsters expressed, um, even though they would not necessarily have seen his vintage performances either for England or for Liverpool, um, but they would have heard of him because we are also, as you know, a um, football hungry country and the history is passed down from generation uh, to generation and I'm sure these youngsters um, on Sunday and Monday would also be caught up in that um, moment as well um, with John Barnes um, taking them through some of the paces um, on at the National Stadium. Um, John as well would be on, on, on Sunday evening at the National Stadium seeing some of our um, Premier League activity. Um, he will kick off and toll the second game at six o'clock. As long as they don't have to stay on and play. <laughs> <laughs> um, we would have to handicap you so that you. I'm already, <laughs> already handicapped. <laughs> so I'm the belly. Yeah, the belly. <laughs> <laughs> it's normal that when you reach a certain age, like Mr. Tatsker. <laughs> 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 you know. Yes, but on, on Sunday he will touch off the ball in the second game. And that is an opportunity for uh, Barbadians to, to, to be out to, to see John Brands in, in the flesh and to enjoy good football sponsored and supported by um, Digicel, our, our Premier League. And it will also launch the start for one of our outstanding footballers of previous times, um, Jerry Goddard, for whom we will have a, a benefit on the 24th of, of, of May, um, which will be two, two weeks down. Um, from now. Um, and therefore, I mean, the opportunity is there for all Barbadians to, to, to benefit from what I'm benefiting from and now, beyond the visual which I had on television watching um, John Barnes play. Um, and, and to give Jerry Goddard that opportunity to, 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 to benefit from 
his exploits on the field of play. I'm sure if John had seen Jerry Goddard in his heyday, um, he would have been struggling, John. I mean, you would have been struggling <laughs> to retain your place in Liverpool. <laughs> How old is he? Well, how old is he now? Uh, John, I think he's about what, 40 what now? 50. 50 now? Okay. Oh, yeah. So he's still a young man. Those of us in that age range still consider ourselves <laughs> young, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything about you. <laughs> but we know what we're talking about. So it's a, it's a great opportunity, really, for those under 16 players. Um, and also for those who will be providing the team on the Monday evening to, to play against the under 16 youngsters. Great opportunity for them to be part of this activity. Very well supported in the last two years. Um, by Digicel and of course we look forward I mean I cannot um, foretell the future but I know as a result of the commitment of Digicel to football in the region that the opportunity will always continue if not with the presence of John Barnes or somebody else to help develop football within the, the Barbados and the wider Caribbean region. So